These are two of the books that are for Erin and it is pretty much for Gus to fill out and I'm going to start filling mine out because I love the idea that it makes it more personal for a guest to arrive and they have something to leave for the experience and for others to read and yeah, I'm going to do my own. I'm going to make me some coffee before I get this tour started. I love the spiral staircase. It just gives it that extra unique look. This is the beautiful bathhouse, which is where you take your showers and there's also a sauna in here and this is where the toilets are for each individual sphere. So over here there's Eve, there is Erin, which is where I stayed, and there's also Melody. So this is what the inside looks like. So there's a standing shower and the toilet, the sink, and a towel stand where you get your face cloths and your towels. Hello. <laughs> you guys know how much I love my robes, so there's two of them. Here is the sauna that I mentioned. How cool is this? Okay, this is a common area and Obviously, you could just store your dishes and wash them. The microwave's over here, and the trash barrel is under there for food that you don't want to keep in the actual sphere. And these are forks and spoons and plates and stuff when you want to use more. This fair is Eve, and it's a little bit further down from Erin. And this is Melody. She has like her own little bridge. They have a nice little view out into the little pond. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Well, I actually built the foundry I made this on 28 years ago, 30 years ago. Wow. Make that impression in the sand, it'll have that in it. And then what I'll do is I'll just give a little wipe of Bondo and I'm ready to carve another name. So. An electric motor at the bottom and it'll drive this. And then I'll just sit and push a button and the bed will go up and you just see. Yeah? Yeah. Just putting a loft bed up in this one. Is this the same size as the one we were in Melody? Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're all the same, right? They're all replicas of the big wooden one. Angelica. One day you wake up or maybe it's more mornings than one and you think, I'm gonna build spheres and hang them in trees for people to stay in. Yeah, it was just an idea that came along. Actually, it kind of evolved. I was gonna, uh, originally I was gonna build a houseboat. Oh. 
And, you know, I had a, an idea of building a sphere for a real long time, but I thought the sphere was going to be a houseboat. It was going to be a 25-foot diameter ball that would sit on top of steel pipe pontoon floats. Yeah. And then it was going to have big drawbridges, like a circular cool. decks that yeah. came down on both ends, so yeah. it was all open and airy, sliding glass doors and whatnot. And have a cockpit kind of layer or it ring. Sounds like you might still do top. that, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I figured I better build this, a model first, and because yeah. I learned how to build a sphere. You yeah. know, I never built a sphere before. And then I, I did a little tiny scale model, and I did tank tests with it and everything. You know, you could drop it into the water upside down, and it always came up upright mm. because the pontoons had all the weight, and the sphere had all the buoyancy. Mm -hmm. And you could put a sail on the front and, you know, the wind flows around the sphere so you could still sail it. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty neat.